Hey everyone, it's Snoopy Legs Gaming here. Now welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video of LA Noir. Now in the last video, after we solved the case, Roy Earl took us to the Blue Room. He, he introduced us to Eliza and also the doctor we've seen in the story in the newspapers. We started our first case in the Homicide Division, the Red Lipstick Murder. So far in the case, we have investigated the dead woman's body. Uh, she's been stomped on, ring taken. We found a lighter from the bar. We spoke to the owner. He's very familiar with the victim. We went to her home. It looks like there's been a break-in. And we left the video just watching a cutscene uh, for the newspaper stories. Now, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Right, so let's uh, search around for clues. Oh, it's a shoe. Size nines, above average for a lady. If you sober up, you can find me at apartment 2, 1050 so Huntley Drive. Obviously having problems. Mm -hmm. the motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. So there's a bedroom, yep. Yeah. There we go. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459. Tiffany. Tiffany and cool. This stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. And the butcher. A regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. Yeah. Looks like a big one. Optimistic, Cole. Optimistic. Right. Nothing in here. Nope. Oh. Uh, nothing really. Hair dryer. Funky looking hair dryers back in those days. I think the last clue is shit. Here's a broken window now. Is it down here? Oh, there's the kitchen. Yep, 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 yep. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? I think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit. You got another thing coming, Buster. And there's the noise to the chime to say that we've finished uh, our investigating. Now. Now we have to canvas the neighbors. I'm sure, oh, here we go. I'm sure one turns up. Wasn't safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss Horgan? Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, person of interest, no Jennifer Horgan. body, you understand, but I'm Celine sure. Had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Marital problems. Mm 
Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. Yep. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Jacob Henry apartment and says destination. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Ah, for my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, so he probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in. <laughs> keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. And here we are. Jacob Henry's no, apartment. Going hard. You follow my lead. Okay. Come on. <laughs> you Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, I, then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I, I... All right, so let's have a quick uh, smooth around. What do we have here? I get even the slightest. Oh, use left to move the pencil. All right, and X. The oldest problem there is. Thanks for the offer. Need the you to do thing. something about my wife. Uh, no. Oh. He'll be back in. Just sit tight. Ah, there we go. Ooh, shoes. Size 11. Size 11s. Right, so that's our cue. Let's go and talk to Jacob. Right, so Jacob Henry. Movements of victim. So right, who could have killed go. Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. I think you do know we're going to accuse. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. A... Husband's alibi is the correct answer. Club owner McCall reports telephoning Jacob Henry repeatedly on the night of the murder. We know she went to the Bamba Club. The bartender there, he, he calls me if things are getting out of hand and I go and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm gonna have to live with that. Right, so last contact with the victim. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her, we talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Well, that seems like the truth. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 
9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but it's right around 9. And the motive for murder. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. His we eye movements is a lie. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. Mm hmm. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Oh, yes, we do. The death threat note. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. Mm. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. <gasps> oh, <laughs> here we go. You're not being rational. What's this bunker? Oh. Oh. Take that, you bum. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Nice, right, so we got a hat back on. Let's go and use the phone. Operator, give me R and I. Phelps, badge 1247. 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt. No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R&I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Mm. Thanks. Alonzo Mendez. One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Right. Let's go back to the police station. Brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. <laughs> Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. Not really like it's up. <laughs> Did a lot. Right, so back at this police station, we got another um, interview with Jacob.
We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment call, folks? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young folks? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. <laughs> Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's Excuse me? a confession <laughs> from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, folks. I've warmed them up nicely for you. Yes, I'm sure you have. Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. Right, so access to murder weapon. What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. Oh, we know that's a lie. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket wrench. No. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on, try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. The husband's alibi. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're going to fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator. Famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. It's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. Now, the lipstick markings. You did it. Everything points to you. What does text mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like he's telling the truth. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. <laughs> Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other, where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me, who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. So deterioration of marriage. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. So we know that's a lie. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Uh, marital problems. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her, all right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. 
And finally, the missing jewelry. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? Mm, well, that's true. You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized mm. garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. <laughs> oh, shit. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. In that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Four out of four correct. Phelps, you failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. <laughs> I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. Well, you want us to put someone in jail that is innocent? I know that they are very big on that in America. We can still pull down a conviction <laughs> for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. Locations, uh, Mendez apartment. Alonzo Mendez. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter in anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Oh, that's the turning there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Turn down here. There we go. Mendez apartment. 11.37 a.m. Right, so let's look at the wee thing here. A. Mendez, 16. Mendez, apartment 16. All the way right to the top. Um, and typical, no left. Have to run all the way out. So we are uh, the fourth floor. There's one, two, three. Oh, oh, one must have been the one that we were actually on. Uh, the don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Right, okay. Down to this room here. And the shoe. Gotta get Size the eight. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. Mm-hmm. And what do we have here? That looks like a socket wrench handle. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. And what else do we have here? The lipstick. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. That's it. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald will begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Oh, Do not lose go. that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. Alonzo.
I love how we do that and our hat stays on our head. Oh, he's going in the car. Nice one, Rusty. Come on, you son of a bitch. Oh, you... Oh, he's like, he, like, turned right at the end, you bastard. God damn it. How come that guy gets all the turns that we're, oh, I got an we're idea. hitting everything? Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop this son of a bitch. Nine, okay. Come on. Oh, there he is there. So we need to get Rusty alongside. Sleep on me. Get me back in close. Whoa. <laughs> You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. And that's it. Right, guys, I think that's where we we'll leave the video. Remember, if you want to help support the channel, please check out the links in the description. And thanks for watching another video of Ellie Noir. If you've liked it, whoosh, high five that like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to smash that subscription button down below. And last but not least, remember, life's a game. So play it well. I'll see you in my next video.